Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making Gojo Tunnel. Uh, I'm remaking the tutorial because the other one is gone. Um, so first we're actually gonna create a new track with your clip. Uh, you create two new tracks, parent both the ones underneath with this icon. If you don't have these icons you can go here and usually it would say make parent child, uh, make child something. Or you could go to edit visible button set and show all, which is what I have. Um, so it depends whether you want a star, circle or the letters that go around. Um, if you want to do the letters that go around you just use BCC Sunder or something. Or Spiral. There was an effect. I'll put it down in the description below once I figure out what it is. Um, so I'm gonna make my clip a circle first because I chose the scene from one of the Jojo K episodes and it's just kind of not what would you, what you would want. So I just need it to be a circle. You would use something better of course but this is all I'm gonna have for now. Now we're going to add either a solid or empty event, either works, but I'm going to use an empty event and I'm just going to use a circle, it's easier, so put up the border then change the colour to white, border like this, and what I'm actually going to do is make the colour of the border um, Red, like, no. and to you to make it glow, you use BCC Colorize Glow and not any other glow, because with 3D gra 3D camera, it for some reason makes it very hard to make a good glow, uh, and this is one of the solutions. Now you go to colorize, it's probably going to have a bunch of these ticks, just click the first one, change it to whatever colour you need it to be. Because it's circle now I'm just going to do red. Control the amount of blur, that looks good. There we go. And then what we're going to be doing is making sure every single track here is 3D source alpha on both this section here and there's another bit that we have to change somewhere no not that not that either oh I clicked the wrong thing this is not it oh my god I think I'm missing the icon yeah I am here it is this icon here on the parent track and then we're going to duplicate the circles and each time we go to the 3D camera here click on the left section and then use your arrow keys uh, to make it go towards the camera which is going towards the right so right arrow key like this and what I'm going to do real quick is go to the main camera which is here parent motion and just zoom out a bit so i can see more of the tunnel there we go and then you can also increase the size of the circle like this if you just don't want it too far away from the camera just yet and then we're going to duplicate this track and then go to the top one and increase it and do the same thing that we just did. I will do a continuation of this if you want to learn how to like turn the tunnels and make them move around and stuff. That one's a bit more like complex. So I'm gonna do this about three more times. Um, zoom it out on the main camera so I can see more. 
Yeah, I'll do it three more times. Okay, one more time. So you do it the like amount that you just prefer doing. There isn't a set amount to do it at all. It's completely up to you. Okay, now another thing you can add is the particles behind before we do any kind of animation because the, the, tun the tunnel is done. But before we even add the particles, you're going to create a new track, select the top parent track, then go all the way to the bottom, select the bottom one, and then click this icon here on the right. And then make sure this track has both icons set to 3D Alpha. And then for particles, you can use anything you want, but I personally use um, astrophilic particle overlay instead of my own uh, particles. So I'm just going to duplicate this and put, I'm going to put the particles down here. So I think I should have the overlay. This one. Yes, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the camera and just make it really big. There we go. And I might make it half red and half yeah, uh, white, so I'm gonna use texture flux. Go red and fill around with the frequency, lower the amount. Lower the speed. That works. Okay, now that we have all the glow all done, um, uh, we're gonna do the zooming into the tunnel. So you have your graph ready, but change it to track. And now we will go to the first keyframe of the 3D graph. Make sure you're clicking this square, not this one. So just drag it over a bit so we can see more. And now we're going to be playing around with the left section here. So we're going to zoom it out. The particles aren't zoomed out enough, so I'm just going to fix that. Oh no, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Go back to the one I need. So this is going to be my starting keyframe, so we're going to start here and then we're going to go down here and this is like my midpoint so I'm going to go a couple keyframes after the midpoint. It's basically how you would do normal transitions on blurmer curves but with this instead. So you want to zoom in at least like three circles, two, maybe two actually, one, two, yeah. Like something like up to here. And then we're gonna add the graph, so we have to select the actual track. And we want, we want the movement to continue, so you want it not like straight like this, but a bit down. And maybe straighten this. It really depends on the style you're doing. I don't have any music in the background of mine. And then with the end transition, you add a keyframe. The 
before the midpoint. And then I'm just going to go one frame before the end so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to drag the square up to where I need it, which is up to Sakuna. Like this. And then change the graph the other way. But this one's going to be flat. And then this one up like this. Reselect your track. Okay, this is what it looks like with no like shake or warp or anything. I think I'm zooming it in too slowly, so I'm just gonna drag the keyframe forward a bit and tighten the graph. Might tighten the first graph as well, I think I made it too loose. There's also a possibility I've zoomed in too much, but it gives you like the gist of what um, you should go for. Now you can add another track. Um, make sure it's again parent track, 3D, 3D alpha, everything. By the way, if you don't have to select multiple at a time like this, you just click and then hold shift and then click to the point you want and then it selects everything in between. But now, you can do, it only if you want to, a position shake on the 3D camera. Because there's orientation here, Z is rotation. You can see with the actual cube here. So I might do two. Z, uh, Y and X are obviously um, the values that make it go up and down. For example, we, we did ten. Ah, okay, no. Z rotation is what makes it rotate uh, 3D like this way. And um, we don't need that. You can see how 3D is like this. Just in case you were doubting if it looked 3D. So for rotation, only touch the Z orientation. And I'm gonna use my arrow keys to make it go up a bit. And then we're gonna go about a quarter ahead. Oh no, actually, about halfway actually. And make the Y shift go down. And then the rotation to minus two. And then all the way at the end, we're gonna make the Y shift go up again. And then the rotation to go to one. And then we're just going to highlight everything again with shift and do it as smooth fade. Of course it doesn't really look that great. Mm, might just change it to only two frames. So it's just rotating. Yeah, that looks better. And then of course if you wanted to, you could add warp, blur and brightness. So again, you add another track. But this time you don't make it 3D alpha, you just keep it the same. And then you go to whatever effect you want to add. So let's add lens blur. Let's go lens blur OBS, add it to the track and then bring it in front of the composite. Seven. I'll make it end around here and pick it up again. You have to really zoom in on this. But it's just easier looking at the track um, here. So I'm just gonna graph the blur, reselect it, iris scale. Okay, 
There we go. And now you can add your warp as well, so warp bubble or whatever you want to add. I'll add two. Again, you add it in front. Anyway, this is how you create the simple tunnel and I will show you how to create like a moving, a more moving tunnel another time. Uh, thank you for joining and I hope you enjoyed.